Welcome. I've done a couple previous videos on installing FFmpeg on a Mac, and one previous video I installed it using Mac ports, another one I installed it without Mac ports. I'll put a link in the description to those videos. In this video I'm going to be installing FFmpeg without Mac ports on Mac OS Catalina. So I'm going to be typing a lot of commands into the command line. I'll put a link in the description to my website where you can see those commands on a web page so you don't have to write them from the video. So first thing I'll do is I'll open up Safari. I'll just hit command space and type in Safari. And that came up, and I'll type FFmpeg. And that'll take us to the FFmpeg.org website. Next, I'll hit download. So I can scroll down and hit the Apple logo here. And it says static builds for Mac OS 64-bit and static and shared builds. I'll hit the second option, static and shared builds. And here we can choose the version. So you can choose the current releases. So these might have more bug fixes in them. If you want something potentially more stable, you could do a regular release. But it isn't always the case but I'll just do 4.3 for this one. And you could download different ones and try them too. Then we want to choose Mac OS 64-bit. We have to have that for Catalina. And then we can do static, shared, or dev, and I'll just do static here. The license, I'll use GPL 3.0. And I'll go down to the bottom, I'll hit download build. So I'll hit that. I'll say allow. So it's downloading right now. So I want to say, this is a new user I created just for this video. It's called FFmpeg user on my system. And I did that so I'd have a good reference of a person who's never installed this installing it. Because on my other account, I've installed it and uninstalled it so many times, there may be some steps that I skip over. So hopefully this gives you a good representation of what to expect. So that's finished. I'll hit the magnifying glass here to open the downloads folder. And we see we have an FFmpeg folder here, and this was automatically unzipped by Safari. If not, you could double click on it and it would unzip itself. So I can open this up. And we see there's a bin folder in here. And if I expand that, we see there's ffplay, ffprobe, and ffmpeg. So next I'll open up a terminal. I'll type command space, and I'll just type terminal in here. You can also find that in your applications utilities folder. I'll make this bigger. So I'm in the home directory right now. I want to go to the downloads folder. So I'll type cd space, and then you can just start typing out download. So I'll type dow, and I'll just hit tab, and it'll auto-complete it if, if the system can do that. And then I can hit return. And here I can type ls to list the files out. We have the ffmpeg folder. The same thing, I'll type cd space ff and tab. And you can type that whole thing out or you can copy and paste it either way. And then in here we want to go to the bin folder. So we have bin, we can type cd bin. So we want to copy these to the usr local bin directory. So I'll see if that directory exists on my system. I'll type ls space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin. I'll hit enter. And that folder exists. So I think most systems will have this, but if it doesn't exist for some reason, I'll clear my screen here, then you could type sudo space mkdir space dash p space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin. And I'll hit enter. It'll ask for my password, I'll type that in, and it will create that directory. When you use this p here, it will create all of these directories, like if local doesn't exist, it will create local and bin at the same time. If you don't use the P, you would have to create the local directory and then the bin separately. Okay, I'll clear this out. Next, I want to copy these binaries, the ffmpeg, ffplay, and ffprobe to that directory. So I'll type sudo space, cp space, I'll type asterisk, space, and then forward slash usr, forward slash local, forward slash bin, forward slash. I'll hit enter, and it may ask you for your password here, and if it does, you'll just type that in. So that's looking good now. I'll hit CD to go back to my home directory. I'll clear my screen. So we may be good to go. You can type in FFmpeg and see if anything comes up. It says FFmpeg cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. I'll hit cancel here. I'll go into my system preferences. I'll go into security and privacy. I'll click on the lock. I'll type in my password. And I'll say allow anyway. So now if I go back to my terminal, I can run this. It says macOS cannot verify the developer. I'll say open, and there we go, it ran. It's just showing us the build configuration and such. So if you don't even get this far, you need to make sure that the FFmpeg is in your path. So I'll clear my screen, I'll type echo space dollar sign P-A-T-H, and you only need to do this if that last command didn't work. So we see the path here, and it says USR local bin. So that's what we want to see. That's good to go. If for some reason that's not working for you, you'll need to add that to your path. In that case, you would type touch space tilde forward slash period zshrc 
enter, and then we type open space dash e tilde forward slash dot zshrc. I'll hit enter. So we've opened up a file to edit in text edit. I'll type path plus equals forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin. I'll hit command s to save this, command w to close. So if we go back to our terminal here, I can type cat dot zshrc. There we go. So if we want to load this immediately, we could type source space dot zshrc. And now if we type echo dollar sign path, we'll see user local bin in there. But I already had it. Like I said, you only need to do this if this isn't working for you. So after this video is over, I'll go back and remove that file. I'll clear my screen again. And now I want to test the other ones. I'll type FF probe. I'll hit enter. We have the same thing here. It says it cannot be verified. I'll hit cancel. Go into my system preferences again. I'll say allow anyways. Go back to my terminal. I'll run FF probe. I'll say open. And then the last time we'll say FF play. I'll hit enter there. Same procedure. Cancel it out. Go back to my system preferences. I'll say allow anyways. Go back to my terminal. I'll say open. And there we go. So if I close this terminal down and open up a new terminal, we should be able to type FFmpeg now, and it will work. Another thing to point out is that I'm using the Z shell here. So if I type echo space dollar sign shell, you'll see I have the bin Z shell. And this is the default shell in macOS Catalina. If you've been using the shell for a while, you may have bash set up here. So I'll open my path back up here. So if you're running the bash shell and you don't have the path set up for USR local bin, go to my previous video on setting up FFmpeg without Mac ports and I go through how to set it up on there. So that's all for this video. I have an FFmpeg playlist you might want to check out where I have lots of FFmpeg projects. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.